everyone. So welcome to the Nerd Bar. Welcome to part three of my ginormous freaking toy haul from the last two weeks. I don't recommend anyone spend this much money on toys. Uh, I've really overspent the last two weeks. Uh, but uh, it's all great stuff. It's all stuff that I really, really love. And uh, that's why I'm filming three videos showing you everything that I got. But again, don't overspend like I did. Spend wisely, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff that I picked up, starting with some Mythic Legions figures. All right, so for those that are not aware of Mythic Legions figures, these are six inch scale figures by the Four Horsemen. And the Four Horsemen are four dudes that are super freaking talented. I wish I had a percent of the talent they have in sculpting figures. They used to work for Mattel, but now they're on their own. They have their own product line, and these are the Mythic Legions figures. They're very, very freaking awesome. They're super articulated, awesome paint, and they do remind me of certain properties. This guy looks an awful lot like Skeletor. This is Keltus. This guy looks an awful lot like He-Man. His name is Adamon. And this guy, for those that followed Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in the 80s, he looks a lot like War Duke. That's kind of why I picked these three uh, Mythic Legions figures. I bought these all on Big Bad Toy Store. They were all $50 each, and I absolutely adore them. They're freaking awesome. So here's some close-ups of this one. This is Raygor. Now, I know it doesn't look exactly like War Duke, and that's a good thing because they would probably get sued if he looked exactly like War Duke, but uses the same colors, same kind of... Accessories, he's got that skull in the middle of his belt. The helmet looks very similar to War Duke's, but just looks freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love these Mythic Legions figures. Let me show you the back. You can see the paint on these things here. Great attention to detail. And they have like little holes in their back so you can add on different pieces. Like I have one of the pauldrons there. He does come with two shoulder pauldrons, but I only have one because War Duke only wore one. So you can customize him so he doesn't look like War Duke. He's got a single jointed elbows. He's got a joint in his shoulders. He's got ankle articulation and ankle pivot. But just a really, really awesome looking figure all around. You can see the paint on the shield there. So if you uh, don't want him to look like War Duke, he actually comes with these horns, which you can pop into the helmet there. Uh, but I really, really like the way that this helmet looks. He comes with an additional weapon, that dagger there. He comes with an additional shoulder pauldron, like I said, but just absolutely gorgeous. They are $50 on Big Bad Toy Store. If you were able to catch them on Store Horseman, which is the Four Horsemen store, you were able to get this for about 35 bucks. Uh, $50 is, I think it's a good price for these, but if you go any higher than that, I think that that might be slightly overpriced. On the secondary market, these can sometimes go very, very high. So be aware of that. Moving on to Adamon, this one again reminds me a lot of He-Man. He has the big battle axe, which you can separate there actually. It's actually two pieces. The shield, which looks just like He-Man's. Obviously, they have to change it up a little bit. He can't look exactly like He-Man. But uh, he also comes with this alternate head, again, if you don't want him to look like He-Man. This is like a bearded He-Man. And I'll show you the detail on the hair. It's a lot of detail in the face sculpt and the hair on this one. But uh, you can also have this alternate head sculpt with the uh, helmet. And then he's got this big broadsword as well. So let me show you this. Show you the hair. There's the sculpting in the hair. Again, he comes with those little holes in the back so you can put on a shoulder pauldron or put on a piece from another figure. These are made to kind of interchange and uh, share different parts. So you can kind of customize these to the way you want it to look. But there's the face sculpt. Really awesome. And then another close up on the big battle axe. Very cool paint all around. But that is Adamon. And that was Raygor. And this is Keltis. So who does this look like? Looks a lot like Skeletor if you ask me. And he's got the big staff there. 
This is actually an alternate head sculpt. You can take that off of the staff and pop it onto the head and he can have that helmeted head sculpt with those two horns. Those horns can actually swivel so you can have them pointed upward or downward. He comes with this alternate head sculpt which is a blue skull as opposed to the very very skeletor like yellow and green skull there with the red eyes. And he comes with an additional knife there, a little dagger. But look at this one. This looks amazing. I love the paint on this. The metallic paint and the armor looks shiny. These are amazing looking as far as the paint goes, the sculpt goes. And it does have really good ankle rocker on there so you can pull off some pretty cool poses. But there's the back. And there once again is Keltis, aka an homage to Skeletor. So those are the three Mythic Legions figures that I purchased. Check Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure if they still have these, but they were $50 when I bought them. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how they look with... I think his name was Draylene. I don't remember, but he's like a dragon kind of figure. Uh, he's another Mythic Legions figure that I have in my collection. So I'm going to show you how these three scale with that one. And I'm actually going to change up their looks as well. So you could see the alternate looks for these uh, at the end of the video. So let me go ahead and get these out of the way and show you a new Mezco figure that I picked up. He is the mutant leader and he looks fantastic. But the sculpt on this guy is really, really cool. Let me show you the alternate head sculpt so you can pop in those two heads if you like those more. Comes with a crowbar, comes with a really cool torch. And then this is the head sculpt that I have in right now, kind of like the screaming, yelling head sculpt. But look at the paint on the teeth. It's got those weird looking nips there. <laughs> but uh, he's still very, very cool looking despite those. Uh, got double jointed elbows. And there's the back. The base is actually really cool too. If you could see, it's hard to see it here, but it's kind of a translucent base. And the base is actually that image right there on the box, which is a very cool image. And then he also comes with those two additional hands, fisted hands there. So, Mutant Leader, very, very cool. At the end of this video, I don't have the Dark Knight Returns uh, Batman figures to kind of compare the size, but I will show him next to a couple other Mezco figures that I have just to show you the size comparison. That brings us to these two bad AMFs right here. Uh, this is Megatron, Masterpiece Megatron, Masterpiece Hot Rod. I've wanted these for a long, long time now, and I finally pulled the trigger on them. I bought from this store right here, Megalopolis. I actually purchased my Infinity War Marvel Legends wave from them, and uh, they had a really, really nice sale, and their website is actually megalopolis.toys. Megatron is probably one of my favorite villains of all time, and this guy right here is really cool even though he got Optimus Prime killed. So I, it's not like I'm still bitter about that or anything. He's just a really cool figure, and I did like Hot Rod, despite the fact he got Optimus Prime killed in the movie. I got these both for like 25% off, so this one only cost me, I think it was like $175, $180, which I think is a really good price. And I think this one was about 60 bucks. So they were really, really good price with uh, the sale that Megalopolis had, but very, very cool there. And this is the Target Master, Hot Rodimus there. So he comes with that Target Master, which transforms into a smaller robot. I don't have him holding that right now. And I have seen people put repro labels on this figure and it looks pretty good, but I probably won't do that. I like the relatively simple and clean look of the unstickered up version of Hot Rod there. This guy though, look at that. Look at that. Let me show you the paint on this guy. Here's the cannon. The cannon does, I believe it makes sounds and lights up. There's two buttons there, that red button and then that button right there. I have not put batteries in it yet, but uh, I will mess around with that. Here is his little energy sword, which looks really good. There's the facial expression that I currently have in there. He does come with three other facial expressions, a battle damaged one, that one right there in the middle, and then kind of a yelling one right there. He comes with a battle damaged chest plate. He comes with this ball and chain here and uh, you can actually put in this as opposed to this chain to kind of make it look articulated because that one will actually hold the pose as opposed to that one which just kind of hangs down. But uh, there's Megatron 
and there is Hot Rod and let me just show you some details on him I got his gun in his hand and what I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to show you these two figures with some other Masterpiece Transformers figures I have just to kind of show size comparison and show how they look together and then here are the final two figures in part three of my haul these are one sixth scale so they're hot toys scale sideshow scale third party figures of logan from the logan movie and this is the cigar version of logan and x23 aka laura and this is the second version of her so both of these are second versions of these figures he did an absolutely amazing job on this face sculpt look at this thing look at how detailed this face sculpt is so i got both of these on ebay I think I paid like 114 bucks for this one, and I think I paid about 140 for this one here. The first version of this one, he was in his suit that he wore in the beginning of the movie, the black suit, white shirt. Uh, this is the outfit that he wore later on in the movie when they're kind of on the run. But this one right here is also the second version of Laura X-23. The first version, she was in like a hoodie, and she had kind of a no expression on her face so I that's why I opted for this one this one kinda looks like an angry expression some people say she looks like Chucky but I think it looks pretty cool I think it looks uh, pretty accurate as well But you could see her claws there she's got two claws this is actually two pieces in order to get this figure looking the way I have it here you have to buy two items you have to buy this right here Asmus toys Asmus collectibles you buy this body and it's basically just like um, the body and this head sculpt. The head sculpt does come with the body, but you have to buy this separately, which is the Laura set, also by Asmus Toys. But uh, this is where you get the outfit. You get the little jean jacket, the shirt, the pants, and then you get the base right here, and then you get the little sunglasses that she wore, and you get this right here, which is where, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Logan, what are you waiting for? This is where Logan was buried at the end of the movie. This little cross there, which she then took out and made an X. But there you go. Let me show you the backs of these figures here. Show you the head sculpt from the back. So there is Logan from the back, and then let me show you how Laura looks. She does have that the hair there. It's not like sculpted plastic. It is hair, so you kind of have to mess with it a little bit so it looks all right. I love the movie Logan. It was one of my favorite movies of the year. And uh, since we're not gonna get any licensed products, I decided to go third party on this. And I could not be any happier. They still look fantastic. They're just not officially licensed. They're very well made though, I will say that. But there you go. That is part three of my haul. Very, very happy with the haul. Again, I did overspend. I'm just happy to be able to show you guys these different things. I recommend them all. I'm very, very happy with everything that I purchased. So if you liked anything that you saw in this video, do purchase with confidence because I do recommend all this stuff here. But let me go ahead and do a couple size comparisons and then we'll wrap it up. All right, it's my favorite part of the video. It's comparison time. So I went ahead and changed the decos of these three Mythic Legions figures that you just saw. Swapped out the head on the Atomon, and I changed the double-bladed battle axe to a single-bladed axe there. Changed the head on the Raygor, put those horns in, took his shield away, gave him an extra shoulder pauldron, took his strap away, and I gave him a dagger. I took both shoulder pauldrons off of uh, Keltus, changed the head out, put the unhelmeted head on, and took the staff away and gave him a dagger. And I went ahead and got my dragon guy out, who's also a Mythic Legions figure. Forgot his name, but I just wanted to show you how he scales. So there you go. There is the alternate look for these three Mythic Legions figures. And I also got a Marvel Legends Ares out, just to show you the difference between those. Ares actually fits in well with these figures here, so there you go. There's a little bit of a size comparison and a look at the alternate decos for those three Mythic Legions figures. All right, and we've got Mezco Nips McGee here, AKA Mutant Leader. 
Went ahead and changed his head out, took the torch out, put the crowbar in, and uh, got Joker out. To show you the size difference there, there's uh, how they look together. And I got Ascending Knight Batman as well. I like that face sculpt. Missing a nose. <laughs> but uh, pretty cool there. I really like that. So there is the Mezco Mutant Leader with Mezco Ascending Knight and Mezco Joker. All right, I changed up my Masterpiece Megatron just a little bit. I put in the Battle Damage chest plate, the Battle Damage face plate. I gave him his little ball and chain there, which is still moving around. I took off his Fusion Cannon and I gave him this little blaster here. I gave Hot Rodimus, or Hot Rod, his Target Master. And I got my Masterpiece Optimus Prime MP10 figure out to show you how these three look together. And I gotta say, they look freaking phenomenal. Right there. There's the money shot. Optimus Prime, Hot Rod, Megatron. But let me show you how this guy looks with a couple of his Decepticon buddies. Alright, so here we have Masterpiece Megatron with... Masterpiece Soundwave, such an awesome figure right here. And I also have him with Masterpiece Starscream. So there are my three favorite Decepticons in their Masterpiece glory looking phenomenal. I am so happy I got this Megatron finally. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have my... Third party Logan, my third party X-23 with my third party Quicksilver and my official Hot Toys Deadpool right there. So they do look very, very good together. They scale very well together. Once again, here is the Logan. I cannot get over how amazing this face sculpt looks. Look at that. So awesome. Such an awesome face sculpt. Love this figure too. Probably one of my favorite figures in my entire collection right there. Deadpool. And I went ahead and put the sunglasses on little Laura, X-23. And she is standing next to Quicksilver there. Super happy with these two figures. Again, they are third party. They're not official releases. They're not officially licensed, but they look amazing. Thumbnail. There you go guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me on these three videos for this gigantic freaking haul. I got a little group shot here with all the comparisons. But uh, hey, I had a great time. I had a great time spending a lot of money over the last two weeks. The Mythic Legions figures are a new black hole for me. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with the third party 1-6 scale figures that I got there, the Logan and the Laura. And uh, so, so very happy to finally get that Masterpiece Megatron and uh, Masterpiece Hot Rod in my collection. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. If you like this video, if you like the other two haul videos that I did, please give a thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate it when you guys do that. But adios for now, and I will see you guys in the next video.